Ovarian cancer is a cancer that begins in the female organs that produce eggs ovaries. Ovarian cancer often goes undetected until it has spread within the pelvis and stomach. At this late stage, ovarian cancer is more difficult to treat and can be fatal. A hysterectomy is not often a procedure that needs to be performed urgently, except in the case of cancer. Therefore, a woman considering the procedure should take time to investigate all her options, including other possible treatments. There are now new treatments for conditions that previously would have required a hysterectomy. Women advised to have a hysterectomy for a non-cancerous condition before being offered more conservative treatments may find it beneficial to seek a second opinion. Deciding whether to have a hysterectomy can be a difficult and emotional process. By becoming informed about the procedure, women can confidently discuss available options, concerns and wishes with their doctor, and make a decision that is right for them. If you, too, have been questioning the necessity of a surgery for fibroids, prolapse, incontinence or any seal repairs, you will be reassured to know you have every right in doing so. The decision to undergo surgery of any kind is often difficult, so it is often useful to explore other alternatives before moving forward. Women, especially around the time of menopause, are too often advised to have major gynecological surgery for minor conditions that can be significantly improved with natural alternatives. Every 10 minutes, 12 hysterectomies are performed in the United States. That is over 600,000 per year, of which only 10% are due to cancer. This surgery most often does not correct the diagnosed problem and instead results in new afflictions. And, argues Dr. Stanley West, author of the hysterectomy hoax, 9 out of 10 hysterectomies are unnecessary. We need to ask? How have these surgeries impacted the quality of life for women? Nowhere in the gynecological literature did the study address the number of women for whom sex had become painful or impossible. Nowhere were there studies to track the number of marriages that failed or were severely compromised as a result of these post-surgical complications or alcoholism or drug addiction resulting from debilitating chronic pain. Women who have been hysterectomized experience a myriad of negative side effects, including chronic pain and fatigue, depression, and pain during sex. These are only a fraction of the long list of unwanted symptoms reported by women after surgery. So, if you decide, or have already decided, that surgery is not an option, you are probably asking yourself, now what? I have asked myself this same question. But, I will tell you, there is no quick fix. As women we must understand our bodies to care for them in a positive way. The more I review this subject the stronger I feel about informing women before they make this important decision. Prevention is the key and hormone balance is the answer. For the most part those who are encouraged to have their uteruses removed are likely suffering from estrogen excess which is explained well by Dr. John Lee. Balancing hormones involves working on a few fronts using simple strategies. 1. Evaluate your hormones using a saliva test, determine what is happening in your body, ask yourself the question, are you estrogen dominant? Use a saliva test to find the answer. 2. Optimize your diet by lowering your insulin levels. Over two-thirds of North Americans are overweight. This extra weight increases insulin levels causing estrogen dominance to increase. Eat 40, 30 thirtieths. 3. If the saliva test shows the need, use a natural progesterone cream in the process of rebalancing your hormonal system. 4. Exercise to reduce excess estrogen and to eliminate toxins. 6. Supplement with wisdom using our hormone balancing program of fiber, indoles, EFA, multi, fruit and veggie essence, calcium. Requires a medical diagnosis ovarian cancer often has no symptoms in the early stages. Later stages are associated with symptoms, but they can be non-specific, such as loss of appetite and weight loss. Can have no symptoms, but people may experience pain areas in the abdomen or pelvis, gastrointestinal, bloating, change in bowel habits, indigestion, or nausea abdominal, abdominal fullness, fluid in the abdomen, or lump in the abdomen whole body, cancer-related fatigue or loss of appetite also common, weight loss. The standard treatment for ovarian cancer consists of debulking surgery followed by six rounds of chemotherapy. One recent study found that just 37% of women receive this standard treatment, despite evidence showing that it is the most effective. For some people with ovarian cancer, treatment may remove or destroy the cancer. This is very common if you've had cancer. 
For other people, ovarian cancer never goes away completely. Some women may be treated with chemotherapy on and off for years. The primary treatment for stage 1 ovarian cancer is surgery to remove the tumor. Your doctor might recommend also removing the fallopian tubes or nearby lymph nodes. A hysterectomy, which is a procedure to remove the uterus, is usually unnecessary.